me Someday I would buy Galleys with good oars and sails to distant shores Stand up high in the prayer I literally pray that I have the capacity to do for the country what you all deserve need be done. Hello and good evening and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 17th, 2021. Well, to start off with, I, I actually would like to know that I actually have a video or two that I'd like to show you of Trump Plaza, Atlantic City being taken down. But I'll actually put those a bit later in the program because I want to talk to you about what Biden and his, his whole um, plan is this for the next 100 days. Because, I mean, President Biden appeared at Town Hall with Anderson Cooper last night where he laid out some of the goals for his uh, first year. For example, Cooper asked Biden about school reopening. He asked about when majority of K-3 through 8 schools would be open. Biden reply was, I think the book, the, um, we will be close to that in the first close, the first hundred days. The goal will be basically for kids to go back to school five days a week, like they were. His optimism on this is because of the vaccine. At the current, at this current time, there is 11.9% of the population has been vaccinated, which is approximately about 55 million people. That's not bad considering that we actually have 316 million people, right? He also said that by the end of July, we will have over 600 million doses. That will be enough vaccine to vaccinate everyone, at least give them half a dose, the first dose. And on that topic, Cooper asked um, Biden, when would, when, will, when will things be back to normal? And this is what he, he said. But Biden did say that we should be significantly better by the end of the um, beginning of the next year. To clarify, he meant by this September school year, not by the uh, 2022. I want to mention a few of the other things that Cooper and the town hall participants brought up in last night's meeting. I mean, the first one is the, the federal minimum wage being raised to $15 an hour. Biden does support this. And as we know, there are two Democratic senators, Kirsten uh, Cinema and Joe Manchin, that currently do not support a $15 an hour raise in minimum wage. They, um, what does I think, uh, Manchin actually supports $11 an hour. That's still a starvation wage. $15 an hour is still a starvation wage, but at least a bit more manageable. Um, sorry, I lost my place. Biden believes that by gradually phasing in to $15 an hour is going to help the small businesses and big businesses adapt to the change as it gets progressive. So it won't be like an automatic hit of going from $7.50 an hour to $15 an hour. No, it'll gradually get focused up there, most likely by 2025. The second thing is that he plans on forgiving $10,000 of student loan debt for each borrower. And believes that fifty thousand dollars would be pushing it. Although we got Senate Majority Lead Chuck Schumer and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi pushing for fifty thousand dollars, so Biden's gonna have a bit of opposition about that one too. He also mentioned that sixty billion dollars of the relief bill would go towards small businesses reopening, helping them out. So he actually has a, a few plans that he wants to get taken care of, which I think I mean, get me, I mean. This is actually a lot better plan that he has set up than Trump did. But as I said, I actually have a few videos of Donald Trump's um, Trump Plaza coming down Atlantic City. That I'm going to show you still. So I'll show them to you right now. Hope you please enjoy those.
And on that topic, as I'm sure you enjoyed those two videos, um, I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow or Friday when more re relevant information comes along. But until then, you guys have a wonderful evening.